have there's, there's plenty of life in the Edisto Beach. Edisto was, was hit pretty hard, and there was a lot of wind in a lot of places around the state. Just as we predicted, a lot of wind. Also, way up in the upstate, yeah, there was a lot of water. And you can still see it around the, these houses as you go back in towards the main. But I think that the, what you see here is a good example. We didn't have anybody hurt. We had the proper warnings. We had the proper communication from all the officials and all involved. And I think that the people listened pretty well and responded properly. And it was a, a well planned and well well organized and well executed response to, to a hurricane and to a storm. It'll take a little while to fix it, but it can be fixed as you see the machines are moving all over the place, they're getting the sand off the road, and the park will be open, parts of the park will be open back up soon, and we're, we're really we're making some progress. This is a good example of how all the different people, including those who have property here working together, can respond to a a storm, a disaster, a hurricane, and, and get back on the feet real quick. So we've got a great state, and uh, this is an example of Edisto Beach is a wonderful, wonderful place. Uh, the whole county, the parks, uh, it's, all, it's all a great place. And I've got a number of people here that you might like to talk to. It's all department of transportation. Thank you, Governor. Our uh, recovery efforts are well underway, as you can see behind me. We estimate that by sundown today, we will have about 50% of the uh, sand removed from the road here on Palmetto Boulevard. Weather permitting, we expect to complete our sand removal operations before the end of the weekend and uh, return the roads back to full service. Uh, Governor. Where's the mayor? <coughs> Jane Dorn. Jane Dorn. Jane Dorn. I think that when there's a crisis, you can depend on the state of South Carolina. So today and yesterday, we have had every agency here working from the governor's office, PRT, EMD, uh, different local officials. We've had offices of help from everybody. And we've had legislators who have expressed their interest in offering their help, our council members. I cannot praise them enough because sometimes we may not agree, but when it comes down to a crisis, we join together and nobody's going to defeat us. So, Wayne Parish, the Park Thank you, Governor. On the tourism side, we start our Coast is Clear campaign this weekend. We try, to, try to bring visitors back here as quickly as possible and pick up the reservation traffic. On the state park side here, the beach area, the day use area, the cabins, and the boat ramp will all be open next Friday, the 22nd. The campgrounds we're still assessing, it'll take a little bit longer maybe a couple of months, but we're still we're still assessing that and we'll give an update soon on our website, which is SouthCarolinaParks.com. Thank you. Okay. Any questions? Governor, are you surprised by what you saw here? No, because I was watching it on television while it was happening. <laughs> and uh, th there's a lot of sand. There's a lot of sand here in Matthew. The drainage systems are full of sand. There's still a lot of, a lot of water in the back uh, in the woods and around the houses. It would take a little while for it to go away, but it was it was three feet deep out there just a few days ago. So uh, this this co this community is, is really responding very well. How does Edisto compare to the other coastal regions along our coast? This was one that got hit uh, uh, among the hardest. The, the trees down as you go. And interestingly enough, as you go up the state, up the Savannah River, up towards the Coney, and up there, there's a lot there's more wind damage up there than there, there was here. And that's because this was a, an unusual storm. Another thing unusual about this situation was that the hurricane came right up from Florida through parts of Georgia. So we had a lot of our friends from Florida and Georgia coming up on our highways. But again, that was managed uh, so well by the Department of Transportation of Christie Hall and also the National Guard and the Department of Public Safety and the SLED, everybody was involved. And uh, there were very, very few uh, obstacles, very, very few places where the cars weren't moving. Actually, we paced that. We were able to pace the, the leaving with our evacuations from the coast 
into the flow that we were seeing come up from Georgia and Florida. And we had a little more congestion with people coming back because we had no control over that, the people in Georgia and Florida coming back. But it's still moving very well thanks to the highly coordinated and skilled efforts of our professional people. Uh, yes. so, so many communities are dealing with this and worse. How difficult will it be to get help at the federal level uh, for our South Carolina communities when Texas is hurting, Florida's hurting, Georgia's hurting? Well, we, we're hurting too, uh, not, not as badly as they are, but there's, we've been in contact with the federal authorities. As you know, we got a I think it's a, a record for a presidential declaration of a disaster. And because of that, the, the FEMA and other entities are engaged with us and the damage assessments are being done now. That'll take a, a few days and maybe, maybe even weeks to assess all the damage and the certain thresholds you have to reach in order to qualify for aid. Uh, we think that we will qualify for federal funds in a lot of categories. But also the, the, the coordinated work being done by the local officials and, and the people is, is taking a lot of the pain out of uh, what could have been a lot worse. Governor, do you think we'll need additional money from the state legislature next year like we did from Matthew? Or do you have any idea what that could even look like at this we point? We have not assessed the damage. As I say, that'll, that'll, take, that'll take some time. Then Secretary Hall, is this, are these costs right now being absorbed through the agency that will just get reimbursed later? Is that how you guys are approaching this right now? Well, one of the good things about the way that we're coordinating so closely with the town of Edisto Beach is that, as you see behind me and all around the island, we have about 60 DOT employees out here working. So rather than engaging contractors and experiencing delay and increased costs, we're basically utilizing our own resources to come in and, and do this work. And, fast manner as we possibly can. Uh, our team's excited to be here. We're glad to be able to do this for the citizens of the Hall, yesterday the estimate was about four to seven days. Now with a day under y'all's belt of cleaning out some of this sand. Still on track for that time frame, more or less? What's your thoughts? Uh, as long as the weather holds out like it is today, we expect to be finished by the end of the weekend. Any more questions? Governor? I believe this is the third storm in three years. Is there ever a point where you feel that the assessing the damage, preparing for the storm ever becomes business as usual to coastal communities? Or do you think it takes the hard work each time? Can they ever, you know? No, you can never relax because you never know when a storm's coming. And there, there are a lot of states around the country that don't have to worry about hurricanes. I think they'd love to be able to be here and be on this beautiful, beautiful coast in America have to worry about a hurricane every now and then. I think they'd swap places with us right quick. That's just part of life in South Carolina. But fortunately, we are more resilient. We've got people strong. We're highly coordinated. We have uh, good plans and good people, and we can, we can handle it. It's been demonstrated yeah. this time. Looking at this, are you glad you asked these folks to evacuate? Yes, ma'am, and so are they. <laughs> but I don't think you were too much, much convincing, <laughs> frankly. But, uh, the water was high and it, it came in fast. But again, we have it, it's uh, it's difficult to understand the degree of professional observers and, and studiers and others that are gathering research and watching these storms come. It's quite an operation. It's something like you see in the movie. And so we were we were very deliberate in, in with our decision making process. And people here were involved. People all over the state. And I, I think with all, among us uh, all we. We got it called right. Okay, y'all thank you very much. Thank you.